Happy Monday, everyone. It's Kimberly Beer here to talk to you about yet another way you can grow your email list. You all know I am high on email marketing and I am also high on making sure that you convert people from your other social media channels over to your email list. Get them to join that VIP list. And so today I'm going to show you how to share your email sign up form on Facebook. Now, the email tool I'm going to use is Constant Contact. And if you have a solo entrepreneur or a small business, Constant Contact is a great tool for you. If you're using another email service provider, hey, just go find your sign up form URL. It's that simple. I'm going to show you how it works inside a Constant Contact, but trust me, all of other email service providers out there have this same feature. So you're going to get a sign up form. We're going to do this in three steps today. We're going to get our sign up form URL. We're going to use a link shortener to shorten that link. And today we're going to use Bitly. So some of you may or may not have heard of Bitly, but it's a link shortening tool and that'll all make a lot more sense if you haven't heard of them in just a moment. And then we're going to do a, um, Facebook post that asks people to join our list. All right, I'm going to get started. So the first thing I need is I need my sign up form and I need the URL for that. So in constant contact, that's going to be located under your list growth tools. And then you will choose sign up forms, click on the actions drop down and choose form URL. That will bring up the URL, right click and copy that so it's on your clipboard. So if you wanna know what that is, just go and paste it into your browser and it's gonna show you what your sign up form looks like. In this particular instance, we're creating a sign up form around Kim Beer Photography's sign up page. I am collecting only first name and email address. Um, we only send out one email per month to this particular list. It's a brand new list that I'm developing that is separate from a lot of the other things that I'm doing. So I'm really excited to promote this particular list. So this is what the, the sign up form looks like. Now this URL is horrendously long. So we, I really want to shorten it and I'd actually like something that I could remember. So I don't always have to open constant contact in order to get my URL. So I've used Bitly for most of my other uh, accounts to get people to sign up for a constant contact or, or no matter, like again, no matter what I say, any kind of sign up form you can do here. So what Bitly is, is it's a link shortening tool and it just simply takes a really long link and you can see my YouTube link here, uh, from being a long sort of confusing, I have to remember where to add question marks and underscores and makes it something that is super easy to remember. I can remember bit.ly forward slash Kimberly Beer subscribe, but I certainly can't remember youtube.com subscription underscore center question mark add underscore user equals kbeer216. That's confusing. I want it to be short. So the way I do this is I come up here to the top and say create bit link. By the way, Bitly is free. This is not going to cost you anything. And the really cool part is, is that it records where the link or click is referred from. So, and we'll look at that a little bit more on this YouTube thing so you understand how that works in a moment. So here is my create a bit link. So I paste in my long link and I already had that on my clipboard because I already showed it to you. And then Bitly is going to shorten it and it's going to give it um, something that's kind of shorter, but equally hard to remember. And I am going to customize this particular link. So here I'm just going to say K beer photo sign up. All right. Chances are nobody has that. You do, you are competing with the rest of the world for this particular link. So do make it something that's unique to your business. Capitalization does count. Okay. So if you do this, make sure you remember that you initial capped and all of those kind of things. All right. So when I have my customized link made, I'm going to click the save button. So watch my mouse. He's down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and that is going to click, or that's going to save my bit link. So now my 
um, little pop-up thing over here. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then you will see here under my bit links that I've created, here is bit.ly kbeer photo sign up. Now if I come here, there's the huge long link. I can click on copy and I'll be able to move that over onto Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you're going to see if I open another browser window and click on paste and go, it's going to go to that exact same form we had open earlier. So back to Bitly. I want to show you one thing before we leave over here and go on to Facebook. So this is a, um, it, it's a metrics measurement as, as well. So I am wanting to build my YouTube presence. <laughs> Obviously, I release a lot of YouTube videos anymore. I want to get more subscribers. I particularly have a drive to get 300 more by the 1st of August. So we, I've been doing a lot of advertising around that and I have a direct subscribe link. And so I've published that out on Facebook. And so these are going to mostly come from Facebook. So check it out. I get to see where they came from. So 33 clicks came from Facebook. Four comes from dark traffic. That's a little interesting and a little bit scary, creepy, fun all at the same time. And then 35 are from Canada. I mean, 35 are from the U.S. and two from Canada. I love my neighbors to the north. So it just tells me where those people came from and also when they used my link. So most of them have used my link on Thursday, June 22nd. And um, I hope not to give it away too much, but that's exactly when I'm recording this. So it's because I made a Facebook post this morning asking for people to go subscribe to my YouTube channel and it worked. So that's exactly how that occurs. So Bitly is a really cool tool. Again, it's free. Yes, you can give them money if you want to use a more complicated version of it or if you want some more detailed metrics, but the free version works pretty darn well. So now that I have my link copied for my shortened link for my sign up form, I'm going to head over to my Facebook page and I'm going to paste that little dude right into my Facebook um, post. That's going to bring up this little thing that says Kim Beer Photography, sign up to stay in touch. I can do a little bit of editing to that. It's really not necessary. I'm actually want to add a photo to that. So I'm going to click the plus here because I want to make sure I have something that looks really cool to go along with it. And I'm going to grab a photo um, off my desktop here desktop and let's go ahead and take this cute little dude I used him earlier for um, for actually we'll use this one because that's a herd so I'm going to take my link out now actually I'm going to leave it in this case it's nice and short don't need to worry about it and I'm going to say join my herd um, sign up for our VIP email list and receive one, um, a short email each month with a, probably ought to use my English correctly, I am an English major, inspirational photo plus a great opportunity to save on um, classes, workshops, photo shoots, or prints. And um, well, we're going to say we respect, we will not share your name and email with anyone else. Promise. So when you go to ask people to sign up for your email list, there's a couple of really good practices that I just took care of here. First of all, I told them what I wanted them to do. I also didn't call it a marketing list. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the word email out. Sign up for our VIP list. We've already said they're going to get a short email each month. I've told them how often I'm going to email them, and I've told them what their benefits are. They're going to get an inspirational photo, and then they're also going to get an opportunity to save on something else that I have to offer. 
voila, that's exactly what I wanna do. Now I have my link here, I have my link here, everybody should be clear, I am gonna hit on publish. So now, if I want this particular um, post to go out a little further, then I would boost my post. Now when I boost it, um, I wanted to go out to people who already like my page because those are the people that I'm after. I'm not always so interested in the people beyond that. What I wanna do is I wanna reach out to the people who are already associated with my business, who already know who I am. And this is another great opportunity for me to be able to build a more intimate relationship with that audience. And that's what we're after when it comes to our marketing efforts. So this week, your challenge is to get your sign up form. If you wanna shorten the link, shorten it. If that's a step you don't wanna take, no worries post the long link in. If you do post a long link into a Facebook post, I really recommend you delete it though because it gets too cumbersome when there's all of that particular link in. Uh, to do that, you just wait for the, the little part here that said Kim Beer Photography part to, to um, come up and then you can delete the link and it'll still stay there and it's clickable. So if somebody wants to join by just clicking on that link, they can. So get it on your Facebook page. Start to convert those people that follow you on Facebook over to that more intimate relationship of email marketing where you're able to reach out to them at a level that is a little bit closer. Do keep in mind when you do this that you do need to offer the folks that join your list a something of value, something that they're gonna pre appreciate over time. All right, that's it. Go out there and make it happen. Thank you. Thank you.